subscribe ecofam for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about the ocean acidification as we know in 200 plus years since the industrial revolution began the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased due to human actions during this time period the ph of surface ocean water has fallen by 0.1 ph units this might sound like much about the ph scale is logarithmic so this change represents approximately a 30 percent increase in acidity the oceans absorb 30 percent of carbon dioxide that is released in the atmosphere because of the diffusion process as the level of carbon dioxide increase from the human activities such as burning of fossil fuels like car emissions and changing of land use like deforestation the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed by the oceans also increase when the carbon dioxide is absorbed by seawater a series of chemical reactions occur resulting in increased concentration of hydrogen ions and this process has far-reaching implications for the oceans and creatures that live in there ocean acidification related to uptake of carbon dioxide at ocean surface cause a relatively slow but long-term increase in the acidity of oceans corresponding to the decrease in ph and since the industrial revolution the global average ph of surface oceans has decreased by 0.1 units uh, as i discussed that has increased the hydrogen ion concentration by 30 percent so international experts define ocean acidification by decrease in the ph that i have stated earlier by the increase in the carbon dioxide because of the human activities burning of the fossil fuels and also this leads to the change in the ocean uh, chemistry water chemistry so why we be should concerning about the change in ph so because of the uh, change in the ph some organisms are very sensitive because most of the organisms they uh, live in a optimum kind of ph levels so if there is a change in the ph in ocean so certainly it will impact their uh, activities and many marine organisms are sensitive or either uh, directly or indirectly by the change of the acidity because of the hydrogen ion concentration and also the fundamental physical processes such as respiration calcification that is skeleton building photosynthesis production respond to the magnitude of changes in carbon dioxide in the seawater so estimates of the future carbon dioxide levels based on business as usual emission scenarios indicate that by the end of this century the surface water of the ocean could have a ph around 7.8 the last time the ocean ph was this slow during the middle of miocene that is 14 to 17 million years ago the earth has uh, the earth was several degree warmer and much extinct even was occurring ocean acidification is currently affecting the entire ocean including coastal estuaries waterways and billions of people worldwide who rely directly or indirectly on the uh, oceans uh, like at food from the oceans uh, which are the primary source of proteins and certainly get impacted by the increased in the atmospheric carbon dioxide and also the increase in the ocean acidification so ocean acidification chemistry we can a little bit discuss about this when the carbon dioxide concentration increased it gets dissolved with the uh, ocean water surface ocean water as we know 30 percent of the carbon dioxide that is emitted in the atmosphere gets dissolved in the seawater and by the series of the chemical reactions this carbon dioxide gets changed into the carbonic acid and it released hydrogen ion 
and the release of hydrogen ions certainly can decrease uh, the pH and decrease in the concentration of carbonate ions which provide the chemical building blocks of marine organisms and which uh, I mean uh, decrease the shell or skeletal uh, thickness of the various organisms in the oceans. <clears throat> so ocean absorption of carbon dioxide let's have a, a discussion about that the ocean absorbs about a quarter of the uh, carbon dioxide we release to the atmosphere that's around 25 to 30 percent so the atmosphere levels increase and also the levels of the carbon dioxide concentration in the oceans increase so initially many scientists focused on the benefits of the oceans like uh, increase it in the concentration of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere the oceans were thought that if they absorb more carbon dioxide it's a benefit because it removes the greenhouse gases from the atmosphere but over the decades it was shown there is some negative implications of this carbon dioxide which absorbed in the oceans because it changes the chemistry of the ocean water and over the period of time in the North Pacific Ocean, uh, this time series from 1958 to 2018, and this is the increased carbon dioxide concentration. So when they increased in the carbon dioxide con concentration in the atmosphere, right now it's around 400 parts per million. So there is also an increase in the concentration of the carbon dioxide in water and certainly there is a decrease in the pH so this was experiment carried out in North Pacific Ocean so what are the various issues of the pH decrease in the ocean water because of the carbon dioxide emissions so calcium carbonate that is mineral that is building blocks for the skeleton shells of the marine uh, organism like in the picture you can see when the carbon dioxide concentration was around 250 ppm the thickness and then this over the period of time when the concentration increased the thickness of the shell also decreased over the period of time and in areas where most life uh, was congregated uh, congregates uh, in ocean the seawater is super saturated with respect to calcium carbonate mineral this means there is an abundant building blocks for calcifying organisms to build their skeletons however continued acidification is causing many parts of the oceans to become an under saturated in these minerals and certainly the building blocks and the that gets decreased and ocean acidification is uh, already impacting many uh, ocean species especially organisms like oysters corals that make hard shells and skeletons by combining calcium and carbonate from the seawater however as ocean acidification increases the available carbonate ions bond with excess hydrogen so this is a kind of buffering resulting in fewer carbon uh, carbonate available for the uh, calcifying organisms to build and maintain their skeleton shells and calcium carbonate structure so if ph goes too low the shells and skeletons can become uh, i mean they, get, they they will get dissolved in the uh, water so the terribots or sea butterfly we can say is a tiny small snail about the size of a pea uh, terribots are important for many food webs or, and are eaten by the organisms ranging in size from tiny krill to whales and when terribot shells are placed in seawater with the ph uh, and carbonate levels projected for the years 2000 i mean 2000 uh, 2000 uh, 2100 the shells slowly dissolved for 45 days so these are some implications of the increase in the acidification some also the carbonate ions uh, like in here we can see the decrease in the carbon diet uh, ions as a building blocks that decrease thickness of these shells in the <clears throat> oceans 
So what are the implications of the increase in the ocean acidification on the food, uh, on the fish ecosystem? So the ability of certain fishes like pollock to detect predators decreased because of the acidification. And subjected to lower pH, the larval claw fish uh, lost their I mean, chemosensory ability to distinguish between their favored or protective enemy habitat. Additionally, greater acidity impairs the ability to distinguish the smell of their own species and the predators. And these organisms are at risk. An entire food web is also at risk, it means the ocean eco ecosystem gets on risk. And the change in the chemistry uh, can affect the behavior of non-calcifying organisms as well. The ability of some fishes like clone fish to detect predators I have discussed that decreased. So they can they become easily prey to the microorganisms. While some species have been harmed by the ocean acidification, uh, Algae, sea grasses may be benefited by the higher concentration of uh, this uh, carbon dioxide concentration in the oceans because, as we know, the increase in the concentration of the carbon dioxide they enhances the photos, uh, for, uh, photosynthesis. This is what I was talking about the some species that can benefit by the uh, increase in the concentration of the carbon dioxide just like increase in the carbon dioxide concentration on the terrestrial ecosystem same in the oceans also increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the water it can enhance the photosynthetic activities of these uh, algae or sea grasses and what we do next uh, because the sustained efforts to monitor ocean acidification worldwide are only beginning it is currently impossible to predict exactly how ocean acidification impact will cascade throughout the marine food chain so it is still in the initial stage because there is a continuous increase in the concentration of the carbon dioxide so there is certainly much research needed in this uh, aspect with the pace of ocean acidification accelerating scientists and resource managers and policymakers recognize the urgent need to strengthen the science as a basis of sound decision making actions look so there are number of activities going on in the world like there are various kinds of conferences agreements going on how to decrease the fossil fuel uh, burning that leads to the increase in concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and then certainly uh, indirectly or directly can lead to the decrease in the uh, ocean acidification and the ocean ecosystem can be saved and overall all humanity can be saved uh, by that action thank you for listening this lecture mm -hmm.